And this holiday season has been a record-breaking year for retailers. Companies have been handing out more deals than ever before, and consumers are taking the bait. According to Experian Hitwise, on Cyber Monday, overall online visits were up 29% from the last year, and daily deal site visits were up 55% from last year. For more on this, let's head out to our Bloomberg West editor-at-large, Corey Johnson, in the newsroom. Corey? Yeah, Emily, the hits, they keep on coming, and so do the deals, not expected to stop after Christmas. In fact, some might just be getting started. Joining me to talk about more of the online marketing and e-commerce during the holiday season, Heather Doherty, Research Director at Experian Hitwise. Heather joins us from New York. Heather, welcome to Bloomberg West. Let me ask you right off the bat, how are retail sales doing online since Black Friday and Cyber Monday? Sure. So what's been really interesting about the holiday season is that traffic has remained up. So it wasn't just that there was that big hit taking place around Thanksgiving and Black Friday, as well as Cyber Monday, where we saw the largest increase in visits. Traffic's been up every day, pretty much, um, over last year. And so the deals have really continued. Um, Cyber Monday, I think, was a pretty big surprise for everyone, because originally Cyber Monday was actually intended to be kind of the Black Friday for um, online retailers. And when you look at some of those top retailers that really had large gains on Cyber Monday, for example, you see that a lot of those are those brick and mortar retailers. So we've seen where that day actually eclipsed all others um, in terms of overall traffic. So Cyber Monday was the highest traffic day so far in the holiday season, which yeah. typically was Black Friday. Well, and, we, and, we, and what's interesting to me when I looked at that, we just put up that chart that showed it, is that there really has been an uptick over last year in the, you know, the couple of few weeks we've had here leading up to the holidays this weekend. Let me ask you, I, I, you've I got a lot of information. I want to get to some of it real quick. You want a list of the top 10 search terms, and I want to pick up uh, the, the top five, uh, or top five visited sites, I should say, or the, I believe rephrase it, the number six or 10. Those are the ones that really interest me because there are big changes in, in Toys R Us, Sears, Kohl's, Macy's, and Kmart. Uh, in those names, where are the big surprises? Well, I think that, again, those are all very large brick-and-mortar retailers. I think Kohl's, with their really large increase, was a pretty big surprise um, of, in the 90 percentile uh, or 90 percent, um, percent change over last year, which is huge. And it just goes to show that these retailers aren't going to kind of just lie down and let online retailers or online-only guys take all the, you know, give all the promotions on that day. So we're really seeing where all of these retailers are very active. Now, something that's been really interesting in the past couple of years is that Kmart, Sears, and Walmart, for example, offer layaway. And so we've actually seen where search activity on layaway, which is something we probably haven't seen since maybe the 80s as a alternate payment plan, search activities right. up 34 percent year over year. And so that kind of option is very good for people that are, you know, a bit more budget strapped. Well, the unemployment might explain a lot of that right sure. there. Now, you had a, uh, some, some work around a, a search phrase of retail, what do you call it? retail coupon search. Yep. And, and I put together a chart just showing the percentage increase year over year, and that seems to be going down a lot. What is it, and what does the decline tell us? Well, I mean, it's really, so it's flat right now as compared to last year, so only a 1% increase. Over the past couple of years, we saw these huge increases, and I think that's been very indicative of the economic, really, climate that we had uh, in 2008, 2009. People really have started to become much more accustomed to seeking out retailer coupons. So, for example, someone will be on jcpenny.com, and they'll see that box that says promo code, and so they'll say, well... I should have a promo code and so then they go off and they search for one and nine times out of ten they'll probably find one and so now everyone is really conditioned to go off and search for codes for free shipping or 10% off, 20% off and so we've seen where people really started to learn about that activity over the past couple of years and now it's just really continuing so it's not that it's not growing anymore it's just become kind of status quo for online shopping. Got it. Well, so we've talked about how things are getting hot. Let's talk about what's hot out there. I thought it was interesting, uh, maybe because I'm not entirely done with my Christmas shopping, uh, what was hot in the toys and hobby space. And I, I picked out of your top ten list the, the ones that weren't that repetitive. Uh, Lego, lots of Lego, mm -hmm. lots of Barbie, Leapfrog, uh, yeah. American Girl dolls, and Hot Wheels. Um, yeah. Some of that is in some Christmas lists in my house as well. Um, what are the big breakouts there, and what does that tell us? 
Sure. So at Hitwise, we're always looking at the search behavior to see, okay, what does that tell us about what consumers want? What are they looking for? And so one of the big products that's really been one of the big breakaway products, it's in the top overall searches as well, certainly one of the fast-moving search terms at Hitwise, which is the LeapFrog LeapPad, the, a tablet for kids, which actually really kind of goes along with the trends that we see um, for adults too, iPads, e-readers, tablets. So, you know, the one for kids is also the hot one this year. You know, we're seeing a lot of search activity at Hitwise where they're saying, is the Leap Pad in stock? And so that means some retailers don't have it anymore. So people are searching. But I think, you know, in this kind of tablet dominant electronics dominated world it's kind of nice when we see products like Legos and Barbies coming up you know and American Girl dolls I think if anyone's been yeah. in New York City you know that people are obsessed with American Girl dolls and there's always a line out there and so you know it's kind yeah, of nice well, to a, see a, that there's a little bit of that going on in some <laughs> elementary schools I'm quite familiar with around sure. here as well you know and I, I guess my biggest takeaway from your work is that despite the economic slowdown we see in Europe and China it seems like people are out there shopping online in size we, we expect bigger numbers online every year yeah. but it seems like the increase has been strong throughout the season is that the right takeaway yeah that's definitely the right takeaway it really seems that this year maybe it was pent-up demand over previous years we've seen some of the jobless numbers you know come up a little bit and so you know people have been spending yeah. This year and I think again no one wants to pay full price so we're seeing deals be a common denominator here flash sales daily deal sites you know consumers love those so they are shopping but they're just you know probably a bit smarter about it and they're just right. definitely not buying full price anymore all right the Duke of discount continues to <laughs> rain Heather Doherty yep. of Experian Hitwise thanks a lot